What's up guys and welcome to our video and in this video I'm going to be doing another Blu-ray update this time for the 30th of August 2020 so I picked up three Blu-rays uh, two cut animation and one Disney so yeah I'm trying to collect Disney Blu-rays as yeah I have Monsters University and Up the rest I don't so yeah so I'm going to show you this so yeah so the first Blu-ray I picked up is a great animation. I think I saw this one in the cinema. I'm not sure. It only costs one pound, and it's Despicable Me too. I haven't seen Minions, but I want to watch it. I've seen the first one to this. I will get it soon. But yeah, this is amazing. I do like Despicable Me. My um, dad's girlfriend's son loves Despicable Me, and I thought, yeah, why not? So it's it's a U. Cost me a pound. There's the side and the back. Uh, U contains very mild scary scenes and slapstick violence. It goes on for one hour thirty eight minutes came out in 2013 there's the disc and the disc is a little bit fingerprinted but that will play fine hopefully that's also includes includes three exclusive mini movies yeah so that's sick on me too next one is cost me a pound 50 it's a 2013 film i saw this one in the cinema but uh, it got cancelled because of a power cut and yeah unfortunately I couldn't see the rest. I saw the first five minutes and the film had to be cancelled but it's the Lego movie. I haven't seen the second to this but I will watch it soon. I do like I ha I have watched it finally and um, it is a good film. I watched this on telly and thought it was quite a good film. Uh, yeah, it cost me £1.50. It's a U, there's the front, side and the back. Uh, it's a U. Mild fancy violence, very mild language, 100 minutes. Okay, yeah. Oh, let's see. Oh, yeah, I, I spent... I spent £4. There's the receipt. I went to the Wood Green CEX, if you're wondering. That's local to me. There's the disc. Quite a plain disc. A uh, little bit fingerprinted, but there we go. You could actually see the Lego movie sign up there as well. Yeah. The last one to start my well, see a Disney film. This came out. Didn't say it doesn't say when it came out, but it cost me one pound fifty, and it's um, Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. Uh, yep, yeah, this is this is the longest Pirates of the Caribbean film. I haven't seen the fourth one or the new one, but I will watch them soon. I've, the best one is Dead Man's Chest. This one's the worst one because it's a long film. It's nearly three hours long. But yeah, I will watch it. Here's the front, spine, and the back. So 12 contains moderate horror and action adventure violence. Goes on for 161 minutes. And you've got a leaflet here. Stay with me. I've got two leaflets. So uh, here's the first one, which is about Blu-rays. Blu and you think, yeah, there's nothing on the back. So here's the bonus features and the feature film with Captain Sparrow, or who's played by Johnny Depp, who's a good actor. Uh, the bonus features is a little bit fingerprinted and scratch, but I hope I'll play it. I don't really watch bonus features, so it don't really matter. And the, yeah, the thing here is, is a little bit scratched, but I hope that plays fine. I also picked up, this, and on, this was the replacement with Toy Story 3, because I picked up Toy Story 3, which was £1.50, but it, it, it was a double play, which came with a DVD Blu-ray and bonus features, but the didn't come with the Blu-ray. But it came with the Blu-ray bonus features and the DVD, and I thought, no, nah, I'm not having that. So yeah, I left it. So that's me doing a Blu-ray update for the 30th of August 2020. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment, rate, subscribe. Peace out and goodbye.